Hello guys, welcome back to a new episode. This is Rally Top Investing 3.0. In today's video, I want to teach you a very powerful scalping strategy that can help to pump up your trading account every single day. It does not matter the size of your trading account. It can help to really build up your trading account every single day. And uh, we are going to be using only two time frames, the 1H and the 5M. Number two, you will need to use this strategy only for the Euro USD and GBP USD. These are the two currency pairs that I've tested and back tested on, and uh, the strategy works uh, madly. Okay? Now, you do not need any. Uh, daily bias. You don't need to know the uh, direction of the market. You don't need to know anything like that. You do not need to mark out any inducement. You don't need any of this. All you need is to find this pattern on your chart, whether in the bearish condition or in the bullish condition. It doesn't really matter. All you need is to find this pattern that you have seen here on my left hand side. And what's the pattern? You want to see price printing a high and a pullback and then price going back higher to take out the high of the previous structure with a candle wick, not with a candle body, with a candle wick. That's what you want to see on the one each time frame. Simple. You don't want to waste your time trying to figure out the bias of the market. You don't need to waste your time trying to find an inducement and all of that. This is just the pattern you need. Once you find this pattern on the one H, then you switch over to your 5M. And on the 5M, the pattern you want to see exactly at that point where price uh, swept liquidity on the one H, this is the pattern you want to see on the 5M. Once you find this pattern on the 5M, all you need to do is to mark out this. In our VIP community, we call this TNCP. So you just mark it out. As simple as that. Once you mark it out, you need to wait for price to come and tap into it and you go short in the case of this uh, bearish structure. Everything I'm doing for this structure here is the same thing for the bullish structure. All you need to do is to just uh, inverse this diagram that you are seeing. Simple. So I don't want to waste time by showing you that of the bullish structure as well. It's just exactly the same thing. You just inverse it. Simple. So that is what you need on the 5M. Check. Look at this pattern very well. Train your eyes to see this pattern. Once you see it, you cannot unsee. All right? So train your eyes to see this pattern on the 5M. This is the pattern you need to see on the one edge. As simple as that. And then every single day, you will be printing money in the market. Now, let me take you to the live chat and show you some examples. Now, I want to tell you that when we get to the live chat, you are going to see that I have marked up some uh, areas. The purpose is just to simplify it and make it faster for us to be able to navigate through all the examples I want to show to you. I don't want this video to be long or too long. So that is why I've marked up the, the areas on the live chat. So now, the second thing before we go to the live chat, I almost forgot that to tell you. The second thing is this. If on the 1H price, I mean, if on the 5M, not the 1H price, now here where you have this uh, circle, you have price close above this high. If price closes above this structure high here on the 5M and there is no candle that went up above that candle that closed above this, five, uh, this structure high here, in that case, you will have to need change of character. You need chalk. You will either use chalk or you use flip entry model. Okay? So as simple as that. So I'm going to take you to the live chat now and show you one or two examples. Like I told you, I have already marked up 
this uh, example so that it doesn't waste our time at all. So, please, you need to bear with me. Okay, so this is the first example. As you can see, price created this structure. Price came down to print this low and then went back higher to print this high and came back down to take out this structure low here with a candle wick. It has to be with a candle wick on the one each time frame. Now, after taking it out with a candle wick, the next candle came and took out this candle wick that took out this major structure low. So the, where we will be focusing on is this one here that took out this candle wick, wicked below it and closed above this candle wick. Can you see that? So that's what we need. That's the pattern we need. So once you find that pattern, we go to the 5M and see whether we can have any uh, opportunity. Now, this is 5M. Take a look at this. So this is where price took out this previous low with a candle wick. As you can see, this candle took out this previous low with a candle wick. And this other candle close above. Just the same pattern that I told you about uh, in that diagram. This is what you have. So you mark it out, this candle. You mark it out. That is your entry. Simple. You don't need to stretch yourself about it at all. So that's your entry. So let's play price and see whether it will go our direction. So as you can see, price started moving higher in our direction. Can you see that? Price started moving higher. And where is going to be your target? Well, the target I've given to myself in this strategy is one to three. Once you have made one to three, you come out of the market. Remember, it's a scalping strategy. So it's not something you hold for too long. But are, are there situations you can hold for too long? Yes. You can hold it for long. How do you do that? You have to do that by using the structures of the market. As price is breaking the structures of the market, you are moving your stop loss to break even. It breaks another structure of the market, you move your stop loss, you begin to trail your stops like that so that you can get as much profit as possible in the market. But the minimum is one to three. If that setup does not give you one to three, using this strategy, you don't need to take it. One to three. Okay? So, now let's continue. This is the structure of the market. That's why we want to take our take profit there. And if it goes our way, this is 3R trade. Okay, so let's continue. So as you can see, price is going straight to our TP. Let's see whether it will hit it. Now, as you can see, it has hit our TP. That's the first example. Once it hits your TP, if you want to trail your stops after then, you can do that. Or you close your market entirely and take your profit. Simple as that. So that's the first example. Now we'll get back to that one each so that uh, we find another setup on the one each. Now take a look at this again. On the one each, you have this example again. Look at it. Price printed this high and pulled back and went back higher to take out this high. Once you find that kind of pattern, just exactly the pattern I showed you in that diagram. And this happens on the one edge. Once you find that pattern, what you need to do, to do is to switch to the 5M. And this is the 5M. Take a look at it. Price. Printed this low. This is a high. Structure high. And pull back. And then price went back up to take out the structure high here. First of all, Candle closed above it. After candle closed above it, what happened? The next candle now took out the previous candle's high with a candle wick. Can you see that? Once that happens, you need to wait to see the candle that we close below the low of this candle that wicked above this previous candle. So, and where is the candle that closed below? This one closed below. Simple. So you need to mark from this high to this point where it closed below. That is your entry. As simple as that. That's your entry. Once you mark out your, en your, zone or your entry zone, you wait for price to come and tap into it. And as you can see, price came to tap into that our entry zone. And so we want to go short from there. Remember, you trail your stops. 
once it takes out this low with a candle closure move your stop loss to break even and begin to trail your stops until you get the maximum profit that you want but the minimum is one to three so let's continue to advance price so as you can see price is going in our favor but uh, like i told you you need to trail your stops because price can do anything price can just go back up and take you out so you need to trail your stops once it closes below this low move your stop loss to break even so you will be in a risk-free trade and once it closes below this this low here then you can move your stop loss to lock in some profits here that's what you need to do and if it closes below this this zone here this zone you move your stop loss to continue to lock your profit simple as that let's continue to play price and see Boom. it has taken us out so if you did not trail your stops think about it what do you think would have happened if you didn't trail your stops you will be taken out of the market simple so but here you will either be taken out at break even or small profit that's a second example let's get back to the one each So we get back to the 1H now and uh, see where we have another setup. Okay, so look at this. This is another setup. You will find setup almost on daily basis using either Euro USD or JPP USD. Take a look at this. It printed this high and price pulled back and then went back up to take out this, this high. And look at it, took it out with a candle wick, not with a candle closure. Once you find that on your one edge, now you just mark that uh, sweep of liquidity out and then go to the 5M. It's very simple, guys. This is the strategy that you need to build up your account if you have a, a small trading account. So where is it? Let's uh, find it here. Okay. This is where we marked and as you can see here price take a look at what happened here this is different from the last one i showed to you now take a look price closed above this candle close above and i said to you if you find candle that closes above you need chalk or uh, flip entry model this candle closed above and there is no other candle that close above the high of this candle that closed above this uh, structure point so what you need here now is chalk and therefore this is your change of character okay this is your change of character now if you look at this change of character i told you either use chalk or flip entry model if you know something about flip entry model then you will know that this is your area of interest here this point is your area of interest is look at it price came into that area of interest give you a momentary rise to the upside but later failed that is your let me change this color now so that is your flip price failed and close below this your zone here so it has been converted from this uh, bullish structure to bearish structure and therefore once it's converted you need inducement so you will need to wait for inducement and where is inducement well as you can see price printed this low and went back up to take out the this previous candles high and this is the last low this is your inducement in the market guys once inducement is taken out where is your area of interest well look at your area of interest here the first one was this one the first one was this one but as you can see this has already been mitigated so we cannot use that so this can do mitigated it this is a this is a proper pullback so it mitigated it we can't use that so the next one is this one okay and let's see whether price will come into it and give us what we want so if price taps on this we want to go short from there and then you can begin to trail your stop like i said before so let's continue so as you can see price has tapped into our zone and uh, price has tapped again into that zone 
So we are going down. Can you see that? Simple strategy, guys. Okay. So let's get back to that one each. Okay. Look at this now. Is this a proper? This is a low. Went up, print this high, came back down, and went up to take out this high. So it took out that high with a candle wick on the one edge. So we go to the five M and let's see. Where is it? Now this is on the five M now. Look at what happened. It took out with a candle. Can you see that? And the next candle came and tapped into it and dropped. Look at it. This is your pattern that you need on the five M. Here, where it broke this high. So price came, pulled back, and tapped into it, and started going back down. This is a very powerful strategy. Can you see that? It started going down from there. If you use this strategy properly, you will make a whole lot of money every single day. Okay, so let's look at this now. I think there's another setup here. Very simple. I think there's another setup here. Okay. No, the high and low of this one is protected. So there is no setup. High and low protected. All of these are inside bars. And I don't want to take you through that route of uh, trading the inside bars. Okay? So I wouldn't take that trade. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Any trade setup here? No. None. Okay. Okay, so let's look at something here. Let's look at something here. Take a look at this. Price printed this low, this low, and went higher to take out the high of the previous candle. So this is a pullback. This is your high here. And now take a look. Price now went back up. Let's see whether that high is taken out. If that high is taken out, then we'll look for trade opportunity there, right there. Can you see that? It took out that high with a candle wick. Once this happened, we go down to our lower time frame, which is the 5M in this instance. Now, this is the 5M. This is where price took out that, uh, that high. Okay, that structure high, I meant to say. And after taking out that structure high, look at what happened. The price closed below. Yes, price closed below. This is your trade. This is your setup here, guys. It's that simple. This is your setup here. And as you can see, price returned into that setup. Look. That's your setup. Price returning to it. Let's pre play price and see. Can you see what is happening now? Can you see what is happening? Once you mark this one, look at this next candle. Went in, tap into this one, and then begin to drop. This happens every day in the market, guys. It's, it's not something that I cook up. It's not something, it's not about cherry picking. It happens every day. Let me show you one more example. Let's get back to the 1H. And let's see one more example. And then we call it a day. I just want to give you multiple examples so that you will know I'm not cherry picking. Okay? So where is going to be your target? Your target will be this low. This very low here. So let's continue to play price. Boom. Can you see? It has smashed our uh, target here. But meanwhile, you can continue to hold your trade by trailing your stops to this point. Okay? To get enough profits in the market. Simple. So let's continue to play price and look for another setup. Let's find another setup in the market. Can you see how price is dropping? Okay, so let's see this one. It appears there is another one here. Okay, this low is not uh, taken out yet. Let's continue. I just want to see whether we have one more opportunity in the market. Hold on. Let's see this one. Price printed this low. Went back print this high when he printed this high he came back down and went back up to take out this high let's see this one 
I've told you, you don't need. Look at it. First of all, he took it out with the candle wick here. But look at this next candle. Took out the high of this previous candle that swept this liquidity here. Okay? So therefore, you can transfer this one to that point. So we go back to the 5M. So this is the 5M. And this is where we are on the 5M. Now remember what I told you that if press closes above, this one press closes above. Can you see that? So when it closed above, you need to wait for chalk. In this case, after closing above, this is supposed to be your chalk initially. This would have been your chalk. But price didn't come down to take out that chalk before creating a new high. So you can move this one to this one. This is your new chalk now in place. And as you can see, price came and took out that chalk. And you need inducement after that chalk has been taken. And so where is the inducement in the market here, guys? Let's check for the inducement in the market. Now, this is your inducement here. Look at it. This one is your inducement. Did price take it out? Yes. Price took out that inducement. And then where is your trade setup? Well, look at your trade setup here. This is your order flow. This one. We are using chalk entry model here because price closed above. I hope you understand. So this is your entry. As simple as that. That's your entry. Simple. Price came into it, tapped into it, and started going down. So where is your target in all of this? Well, we need to look at where is our target. The first target would have been here. This one, let me show that to you, would have been this one. After taking out this one, where is it? No, this would have been your first. After taking out this one, move your stop loss to break even. Simple. Just trail your stops. Just trail your stops. But remember, minimum is one to three. So let's see whether it went down again. Can you see? Price is still dropping. This is one form of strategy that you can actually use to build up your account. Simple. I won't say more than that. All right, guys, this is where we are going to close the cutting. But if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give us a like. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, our YouTube channel, please do so just immediately because I just realized that over a thousand viewers of our uh, videos are not subscribed. Why? Please, the only thing that you can do for me to help me, to encourage me is by subscribing it doesn't cost you anything it's completely free please encourage me so that i can go ahead to be churning out quality videos like this for you to learn how to trade the market successfully okay and we have a telegram channel if you haven't joined our telegram channel it's, it's completely free it's public telegram channel please do so join immediately i'm going to leave the link in the description and if you are interested in learning more on how to trade, you can join our VIP community. The doors are open. You can join us. All right, guys. I see you in our next video.